Hey everybody, welcome back to some more early morning barking, talking about BPD and NPD by somebody that has both and freezing our butts off. I remember over the summer when I was complaining it was too hot. I miss those days now so very much. So very much. Anyway, today, BPD versus MPD will have another little battle with these two. Um, on the last one, I did Fear of Abandonment, which is a, a well-known BPD marker, but I'm going to go a little off-grid here with this one. Um, I'm going to take the BPD Blanket of Defeat versus uh, Covert Narcissism which is a bit unfair. I, I, I don't know if they're two comparable things, but they do similar things. So I wanted to compare and contrast, right? On the one side, the BPD blanket of defeat. We know what BPD blankets are. I invented those because I'm a genius. And these are the feelings that come and wrap you up and make you feel all warm and cozy because you remember them and they're familiar, but they're horrible. Uh, I talk about the sadness a lot. Uh, the sadness blanket a lot and we have a defeat blanket as well where everything has beaten us we are done we are defeated why bother trying etc etc uh there's a video just on this blanket so go and check that out there are no links anywhere i'll, I'll trust you to go and sort that out i'm not finding links so we have this feeling of utter defeat that makes us not want to do anything because what's the point we always try and fail so why carry on why not just accept that we are defeated and live with the failure that we are that's that's this blanket of defeat it's a horrible feeling um and the more you get caught it's very easy to reinforce is what I'm, I was going to say. It's very easy to reinforce this defeat because things can go wrong. And even if those things are beyond our control, it still counts, right? I, I know there's, you have to try and not feel bad about things beyond your control. But no, I think emotionally, when you're talking about feeling defeated and beaten down by life, even things that are beyond your control that, that happen to you can can destroy you emotionally as well and so this this feeling of being beaten down is so easily reinforced and helps us feel worse and as you're wrapped in that blanket of defeat a blanket of sadness comes and makes you feel even warmer and you can just live in there for years um, and it's it's horrible it's such a painful and squalid agonizing existence <laughs> Um, with, with, yeah, you just don't want that. Then we look at covert narcissism. Covert narcissism is, hmm, it's where I've spent a lot of my time with MPD. It, it is the, the frustrated entitlement side of narcissism. That's what it is. It's the, I deserve this and I haven't got it. Why haven't I got it? And it comes with a, a much more, I want to say blaming, is that it blames others a lot more. My sentence structure is off today. Forgive me. It's been a few days since I've made a video. I'm not used to talking to people. Covert narcissism blames others. It's not my fault that things have gone wrong. It's their fault. They're too stupid to get me. For example, in my own case, you know, it, it comes out with, you know, why am I rich and famous? My videos are great. My podcasts for years were amazing. Why haven't you heard of me already? Some people have, but not enough. And so on and so on. It becomes entitlement and it's angry, hateful, vengeful entitlement. It, it just blames others for your failures or perceived failures. Because we have to... It, it also makes you especially hard on yourself. This is the part that won't allow me to celebrate when things do go well. Okay, maybe my channel's not doing as well as I'd like it to, but there are achievements along the way. There are uh, things I've done right that I should be happy about, things that have gone well that I should celebrate. And I can't, I don't, because they're not good enough. It all happens internally, this. This is why it's covert, right? It, it doesn't come out that very often it's a, a, a this is the painful self-loathing part of it 
that nobody really recognizes. We talk about the grandiose side of narcissism and, and gaslighting is a buzzword of the 21st century for some reason now. And so many other things. We don't talk about this covert, insular, painful, painful side of, co of, of narcissism. The self-hating, the self-disgust, the thinking you're nothing, the thinking you're worthless. And so this is one of those times when we take our BPD and we mix it with our MPD and we get something far, far, far worse. Because you remember how I said how easy that BPD blanket of defeat is to reinforce? Well, you do it yourself with your covert narcissism. All of those things that the BPD needs to hear to be reinforced come from the covert narcissism. This isn't a versus situation at all. This is a combination team up tag team event, right? This is this is a huge thing when covert narcissism mixes with BPD's blanket of defeat. And breaking out of that is such a hard thing to do. That is such a difficult task. I'm trying to do it right now. And I think the best way to do it, were I to offer a little advice to anyone in this situation, what I find helps is to plan a route of escape. Does that make sense? Let me elaborate so that it does. That's what words are for. I know I'm caught somewhere and I know where I want to be. And what's really getting me stuck, what's keeping me in this place where I am, is that I don't know the way from where I am to where I want to be. I don't know what I should do. And what I need is an escape route. I need to know where I'm going. So, in this particular case, what I'm dealing with now, things related to my channel, to work, to that sort of thing, I need to do work. I need to make a video. I need to talk to you guys. I need to find a thing to make a video about and put it out there and do as best as I can to do that. And that's my route out. That's my way. Those, that's my thing. And then we can break that task down into other steps, which might make it even easier to do. The smaller you can make tasks, the easier they are to do. So yeah, I needed to do a video and I'm not even thinking beyond into the sort of uh, editing area of this sort of thing. I just need to record something. Once I've recorded something, then I'm, I'm good. The rest, there's some momentum there, but I need to build that up over time. I can't just get on it. So if we can break this down into smaller tasks, that's better. Start thinking about what I'm doing a video on, start planning how I'm going to talk about it, what direction I'm going to come at it from, and building up, getting my room ready, getting a drink, getting sat down and comfortable. It goes on and on. But breaking that task down lets me just run at it and throw myself at it. And before I know it, the tasks are getting bigger and bigger. I've hit the record button and here we are. And soon it'll be easy to run right through and get things uploaded and posted and do a thumbnail and all that kind of thing. And then go back and sit in my very, very, very cold house. It's very cold. And I think that's the way out. But I am being piled on right now. It's, it's fun to have the MPD and the BPD when the MPD and the BPD cancel each other out. That helps so much. That makes them both kind of bearable. It kind of gives you some feeling that it might all be there for a reason, right? Maybe that MPD is there to help me and make me feel better. And then there are other times when they gang up, when they decide, no, no, it's him that's the problem, not us. Let's get together and punish him. And that's what the blanket of defeat and the covert narcissism do. Either one on their own is painful. And, and some of us here have both. Which sucks, to say the very least. There you go. That's, that's my summary of it all. That's my expert analysis, genius that I am, is it sucks. And I hope you agree with me on that. I mean, if you don't, you're wrong. Um, you know, 
he might accuse me of going for the low hanging fruit with that one but i think i'm on point i think i'm on point so uh if you agree with me go down there leave me a comment say i agree with you rich you're on point and uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons you know a lot of you are, are new people who've never seen me before i do videos like this and if you hit the like and subscribe button i'll do more and you'll see them and we'll get along great it'll be wonderful oh and you can go to patreon.com slash early morning barking for more videos and other stuff like that which is just more videos other st stuff like more videos is more videos isn't it really <sighs> i still have brain fog from covid that's my excuse i'm going to use it for the next 18 years you take care i'll see you later Bye-bye.